This is the story of a trip from the Isle of Wight to the Isle of Skye without flying, without a car, and out of the normal tourist season. It's not the most accessible place in the world, but it could potentially be the most beautiful. I wanted to go there to see deer, to see puffins, and also to see the Kerrang, which is a natural uh, landslip as seen in a thousand landscape photographs. We may have only achieved one of those things. Scotland now. Much anticipated moment. Hey. Amazing journey. It was a meagre breakfast on the train, wasn't it? very pretty. What a bus ride! I bet that bus driver loves his job. home for the next two nights. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, so there was that one mounted there and you thought it would come straight down. The pressure's fine. You've been out in the rain and I haven't. <laughs> we had one slightly less rainy day on the sky. <laughs> Molly. Oh. Molly's trying to turn it into a rainy day. these two electric assist bikes set up for us by a lovely Scottish man overlooking this fantastic view over Broadford. I'm glad I prepped him on the phone that we're not confident cyclists because we were rubbish at using them in the electricity demonstration.
Kickstand. Kickstand. So we've come from Broadford on Sky. We're on the road to Elgol. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it all the way because I keep stopping to film stuff, but however far we go, this has been worth every penny already. Church from the 7th century AD, resting place of the McKinnon clan. Clan? Family? House? Imagine living in one of those houses. It would be a very different way of life. Like even to the Isle of Wight, not even when you compare to like a Londoner. Could you move? I'm trying to plan my... Five, six hours later, back to the main road. More day. We still have them. The guy didn't meet us. Vegan pizzas. The guy came to pick them up. Shout out Andy from South Sky Cycles. How do you feel about getting up out of that chair now you've sat down? I don't think I can. <laughs> the next day was a Sunday. We moved to Portree on this amazing bus journey, but Portree was as far as any bus service went. We had a mini bus tour of the whole island booked for the next day, which was supposed to be horrifically rainy. But that day when we got to Portree, the weather was actually okay. So we decided to be brave and try and go and see the Kerrang by ourselves. That's like 20 cars maybe. Yeah, that's probably more like 40 cars now. We're admitting defeat and walking back into Portree. I really wanted to get there today. We're going to see it briefly in the rain on a tour. But today's such a nice day. Thank you. <laughs> Just doing a self timer. <laughs>
not bad for a consolation walk. Standards. <laughs> but, oh, nice yeah. work. Have a nice you. See you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. so excited to see that it's not raining. mentioned that I like the Sky Beer and our tour driver happens to be the husband of the head brewer here. So we've made a stop at the Sky Beer uh, merch shop and brewery and we're having samples, we're having samples of uh, smoked beer brewed here on Sky. It's very different from that. It's very different from the one that I had. It's a uh, Interesting. Oh, it's nice, but you know, it's it's the morning. <laughs> Vegan haggis alternative. Check it out. vegetarian sausage mixed with stuffing and a bit of spice. We just came back and found this. It was left behind a singular wet sock for Molly. Everywhere you look on the siren, it's just amazing. Yesterday we drove around probably every road on this island, I'm sure. There aren't that many roads. Um, I didn't see any deer out the window. Today I've come into the woods, nothing. I mean, this looks like they've been like working on felling all the wood, so obviously there are not gonna be any deer here. I'm beginning to understand that there are no deer on the Isle of Skye. Everybody, don't forget to leave a comment about your favourite place on the sky where you saw a thousand deer that I didn't go to. refund on the boat tour that we were going to do today. They did say when I booked that they would have to cancel it if the weather's bad. I'm going full dad mode, making us 
go out. I paid for a holiday. We're having a holiday. <laughs> Our host left us with this in case we get lost in the dark. Thank you, Angie. We somehow ended up getting a free lift on this school bus that later filled up with all ages of kids out to this remote location where my whole idea for our last day out was just to walk the two hours home in the wind and the rain. Somehow, Molly was being a trooper and not complaining about the whole stupid idea. Through the net. So we did hitchhike on Sky in the end. I wasn't even plumbing. By, by the point the guy picked us up, we'd been walking for like 40 minutes maybe. Um, and he was just, he just pulled up and he was like, do you want a lift? And we said yes, obviously. His dog was so sweet. Travel day. Just had our last breakfast delivered by Angie. So this is an entire tour of Port Tree. There's one ATM over there, a bar there, another bar over there, and behind there is like three or four cafes and gift shops. And that's it. Not gonna buy breakfast this time. No. Last time a compliment you drink. Yeah. Last time we weren't even allowed to have it in the, the restaurant car, so I was like, why did I buy this? So there's a sink here, but not drinking water. And then when we're sick of looking at Scotland and USB ports, but no AC port. So you get a towel, which is quite weird, considering there's no showers, although there is a sink in here. Sleep kit with uh, earplugs and a sleep mask. That's because I... some people snore. Which snore people? Them. Which people snore? I guess this must mean England's better than Scotland. <laughs> 